Hey guys, today I'm doing a plugin showcase on One in the Gun. So this is an alternative to One in the Chamber and some other similar plugins. So this allows you to recreate the Call of Duty game mode within Minecraft. So let's get into it. So uh, first of all, you want to um, create your arena. So One in the Gun, O I T G. Help shows you all the commands. So let's do create. Uh, if I can spell it correctly, and YouTube. Always go with that name, it never gets old. And let's add some spawns. So, one one in the uh, gun, not not chamber, uh, add spawn. And then YouTube. So, uh, this is similar to uh, other plugins where you just do the command and it adds lots of spawns, like so. And now we want to do a couple more things. So we want to save it. So one in the gun. Oh, nope. Before we save it, we want to set the lobby. One in, in the gun, set lobby. And then uh, YouTube, like so. Uh, now we need to do uh, one in the gun, save. Uh, YouTube, like so. And then we create a sign. So R-I-T-G. Uh, on the first line. Second line is the arena name, like so, and it says 10 to start. So you can either edit um, the amount of players and arena name and stuff in the config, or you can do it via a command which hasn't fully been um, shown on the wiki yet, so on the bucket page. So I'm going to go in the config to it quickly, then get another person to join, and we can showcase the gameplay of the plugin. So a cool way to set a global lobby for every single arena is by doing process O I G G set global lobby like this and hit enter. So that's quite interesting. There's also a setting thing that I uh, vaguely went through earlier. So I just looked in the configuration and you can edit a couple of things there, such as countdown, prefix, and um, there's another thing, but unfortunately you can't actually edit um, the settings of the arena, which is annoying. It might come in a later update, but uh, now we will look at one more thing. So now we will look at the final thing, which is uh, settings. So you do one in the gun, like so. Uh, settings, the arena name, YouTube, and then you got a whole bunch of them here. So. Um, there's lots of things you can uh, have, like health regen, and you either put a value of on or off. So I'm going to put off for health regen, uh, and possibly um, player limit, player hyphen limit, um, four, ooh, twelve. There's the player limit, yep, there we go, and um, start count. So let's put something small for the start count, maybe two. So there we go. So now we are ready to start playing. You can also add some other things, block break, you probably want to turn that off unless you've got World Guard or um, the other plugin. Block break off. There we go. And here we go. Ready to start, and I'm going to get some guy on to help. Uh, what's his name? I've forgotten. I'll, I'll leave his channel in the description. Let's help him get to 150 subs. So now we are about to join the game. Um, I'm recording this voiceover after because uh, his background noise was horrendous. So I'm about to ask him to click the button and join. And you'll see the dynamic sign change to say there is one person left to start the game. Uh, so he's going to click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. There we go. So if I right click it now, it will teleport us to the lobby that we set previously. Uh, and it will give us uh, a countdown start, although because um, there's not the full amount of people, we need to force the start. So we do one of the gun for start YouTube and the amount of seconds, which is two. So here we go, we've joined. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you kill someone. Uh, it's really, really cool. Just like the real game, so arrows are one hit kill and swords are like five hit kill. Uh, if you kill someone, you get an arrow, uh, and if you shoot the arrow, you obviously it's gone, you've lost it. So now we're going to shoot each other. The max amount of kills is 10 by default, I believe. So I have to get to 10. 
and they're in the um, chat so you can see really really cool um, I just I don't know I just like all the colors and formatting it looks really nice and on the right you can see a really cool scoreboard that looks lovely with the red and the white and uh, you can see who's winning uh, so I'm killing him you probably saw there and there that when you shoot him first that um, it didn't kill him that's because there is a barrier or shield um, to stop you from spawn killing so uh, we set that in the config uh, I set it at one or two seconds so when they spawn you um, have protection for a second so thank you for watching subscribe like and comment